Uh, this fight is very important to me and my team. We don't take Aloyen lightly. He has fought as a professional. So the fact that he is in the World Super Series, it means we must take him seriously. Secondly, this is an opportunity of a lifetime for myself and my team. Because after winning for this fight, we go for another world title. There's a lot at stake here. So I can't take any chances. I don't underestimate any of my opponents. My focus is to become a unified world champion. А знаете, на самом деле я хочу сказать, что я а, серьезно воспринимаю этот бой, потому что я понимаю, что а, мой соперник это также титулованный соперник, знаменитый соперник. И я не собираюсь этот бой недооценивать. Кроме того, а, этот бой будет являться для меня следующей ступенькой, ступенькой к следующим титулам. Соответственно, это для меня также важно, и я не собираюсь недооценивать важность этого мероприятия. Спасибо. Коллеги, есть ли еще вопросы? This is uh, from earlier today at the, um, really earlier today, at the uh, final press conference for uh, Zelani Tite versus uh, Mikael uh, Alanyan. I'm Tea Street Controversy. This is Tea Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. This is the first round of season two of the 118-pound World Boxing Super Series Tournament. The fighters are actually going to uh, face off. We're going to talk about the tournament. Um, so, Tite, two-division um, champion, 27-3 and uh, three with uh, 21 KOs, damn near six feet tall. He used to make 115 pounds. Now he's fighting at 118 pounds. This is uh, Andrew Tabidi, uh, Mayweather Promotions uh, fighter, also in the World Boxing Super Series for the Cruiserweights. Um, here's the card right here versus uh, Ruslan Fayer. So I'm going to cover this fight probably later on tonight or tomorrow because I want to go watch some fights on this uh, Ruslan uh, uh, Faefer, if that makes sense. So the, it's going to be taking place on The Zone. That's the streaming app you've been hearing about this whole car starting at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. So you know how I get down. Um, I'm going to start cooking real early in the day. I'm probably going to miss the first couple of fights of the card. Meaning I'm probably going to be like have it playing on my iPad or something in the background while I'm uh, cooking or something. But then once I settle down, we're going to be watching the card. And then you got the uh, top rank on the ESPN card. You got the match room card. So it's a whole big ass day of boxing. Another crazy weekend of long boxing for me. It may not look at look like it, but these guys are going to be fighting at 118 pounds. This guy right here, I got a chance to go look at um um some footage of his. You know, I'm gonna let this play up here. And right now he's four. Wait, he's four and zero with four KOs, correct? Four and zero with zero KOs. I was actually like sitting through this. I watched this. I did. I think I did a video. I don't remember. But, you know, it's just not really nothing there to make me think like, yeah, this guy is, it's a reason why, you know, he's, like, I guess what I'm saying is there's not nothing there for me to be like, there's a reason why this guy is uh, only at 4-0 and he's fighting in a big tournament like this. The winner of this tournament is going to come out with all the major titles except for the right the wbc but they're going to come out with the ibf the uh wba super world and the uh wbo and the ring magazine obviously if you don't know a fighter by the name of um naoya inoue from uh, japan is the favorite to win the world boxing super series and in a perfect world well let's go look at this first here's the bracket for the world boxing super series uh two tournament so we're looking at the band and weight right here and then you know the cruiser weight with uh where's he at um over on this side you know andrew debiti my uh here move that up here there we go i'm gonna be covering this and then you have uh the super lightweight 140 pounds really looking forward to this this is starting um i covered last week's and the next one is the 27th so here we are right now. This is the side we're on. Zelani Tite versus uh, Mikael uh, Melanian. 
The winner of this is going to go on the fight. The winner of November 3rd show, Ryan Burnett versus Nonito Donaire, who is boiled down to 118 pounds or is currently boiling down to 118 pounds. It's never really um, good when a fighter, you know, after not being at a division for so long, goes back down to weight. Things usually don't work out well. But, you know, hopefully he's going to be safe and more power to him. I'm glad that he's in a tournament. Um, last week you had um, in Inno Inouye, Knock out Juan Carlos Payano in, you know, in fact, what I'm going to do is I could pull it up for you, but I'm not. Just go back and watch the video, you know, that I did. Um, all you got to do is scroll down a little bit. I'm actually going to make a playlist for all these World Boxing Super Series uh, uh, fights. But I do have a playlist for everything that comes on the zone, though. But um, you're going to have um, he knocked him out, like knocked the shit out of him in uh, the first round. It was basically like the like only like two punches that landed. So the winner of that's going to go in the fight. The winner of Emmanuel Rodriguez versus Jason Maloney. People have been really, really telling me, yo, t Street, you got to really check out Emmanuel um, Rodriguez. He's kind of like uh, Unier Dorticos was in the first round, like the sleeper. But in the perfect world, in, in the World Boxing Super Series final, we would see Zelani Tite versus uh, Naoyi um, Aminoye for the finals. And maybe, you know, there is some people with that acquired taste out there you know, that would love to see Inouye versus uh, Nonito Donaire or some shit like that. But that just would be crazy if Donaire even made it that far. But it's possible. It's possible. You know, maybe his power is going to be back down devastating again. But just moving back down on all that weight, though. But so expect for me to do uh, to be covering all these press conferences. If not the press conferences, then the way ends. And with the schedule, we're going to do our best to make sure we're um, um, giving full coverage on this stuff. So, yeah, that's it. I'm Teacher Controversy. This is Teacher Controversy Live. Please subscribe. Oh, here it is right here. Yeah, 1 p.m. on the uh, zone. Yeah, 1 p.m. Yeah. All right. I'm Teacher Controversy. This is Teacher Controversy Live. Please subscribe.